Uh, cancer. Sorry, my bad. I thought we were naming things that were better than TikTok. Listen, I've never been this sure about anything in my entire life. TikTok is the worst thing that humanity has ever created. And we've created some bad things. I mean, we had that girl who made that uh, toilet ice cream sundae. Reason number one to delete TikTok, it's rewiring your brain, like actually damaging your neural paths. For some reason, we have this ridiculous dopamine hit at the tips of our fingers and we can use it anytime we want. That is not a good thing. Okay, at least on YouTube, right? You actually hesitate before clicking on a video. You look at the title and thumbnail and you're like, okay, I'm gonna decide if I wanna spend time on this. You open TikTok instantly bombarded with the video. It doesn't give you like the courtesy of like, hey, you, you have a functioning brain and you're a human being. It's just like, ooga booga, you like dopamine, you like something moving on the screen, you like some video playing, you know, it instantly like gives you a little glimpse of what's to come so that you're gonna keep scrolling. TikTok TikTok is automatically playing all the time, constantly. These 10 second videos are absolutely reducing your attention span, okay? You are becoming scientifically stupider. Literally each second you watch TikTok, your capacity to learn and grasp new information is becoming lesser and lesser. Reason number two, Time waste. How much goddamn time have you wasted on that app? How many hours that you wish you could have gotten back from your life, okay? It's so easy for hours and hours and hours to pass. Like, it's unlike anything I've ever seen. And I've played League of Legends, okay? The, the ultimate time waste. It wastes years of your life. But it is so insanely easy to throw your life away with TikTok. Like, you know, even something as cancerous as League of Legends, and it's still better than TikTok because at least there's some, there some, like, uh, friction to getting inside a game and wasting your life away. TikTok is just tap the app and you're, you're in. Reason number three, it's absolutely disgusting. Have you seen the amount of underage girls dancing like half naked on that app? It's actually sad, dude. For the girls posting it, it's sad. For the guys jacking off to it, it's even sadder. Like, I, I don't know, man. Like, if there was a way to calculate how much of the top content on that app is just the viral softcore PP, like, it, it, it would be absolutely disgusting for people to even recognize it. And I know just by mentioning this point, I'm gonna get this absolute Albert Einstein in my comment section going, but it's based on your, uh, your history. You must have liked a bunch of booty post. That's why uh, you are actually the creep. It's definitely not TikTok. Nothing to do with that. Okay, first off, my rebuttal is I don't even use TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, nothing like that. Only Twitter, and that's just to talk to you guys, and I should anyways probably get off that as well. I get all my TikTok videos from uh, Twitter or YouTube. I'm literally not a TikTok user, yet I know so much about it because it's just leaked into every single avenue. It's on Twitter, it's on YouTube, it's everywhere. I'm basically just going off on what is popular and what I've heard from other people. Apparently somebody did like this analysis, like a 19 year old male on a brand new account within five minutes, right? Interacting with no posts, no likes, nothing. Just, you know, randomly scrolled a little bit and eventually just got bombarded by softcore PP, all right? It's actually insane. TikTok automatically just knew exactly who he was, where he's from and everything about him, that he's a 19 year old male and he's probably gonna like this fat booty. I mean, if it wasn't obvious already, TikTok literally knows everything everything you do on your phone, maybe even on your whole Wi-Fi, bro. I don't know how it works. It probably knows your mom, your dad, everything about you, probably more than you know about yourself. And God forbid you're 18 plus, you can't even scroll five minutes without feeling like a criminal. It's literally become the new hub now for these kids, okay? And uh, that, don't get me started on that. That's disgusting as well, but we'll get to it in another video, okay? Reason number three, it's destroying your life. And if it's not doing it right now, don't worry, it'll get to it in the future. Listen, for the majority of people, we have absolutely no self-control, okay? We're gonna be scrolling on that app for hours and hours and hours, and even if, hypothetically, you are this magical person who has the, the pristine amount of self-control, you watch TikTok 10 minutes a day, every day, not a second more, not a second less, right? You're a perfect person. What are you even getting from that app, to be honest? Like, what value does it actually bring you? You know, there's uh, the amount of useful TikToks is so completely little compared to the amount of garbage on the platform, and even the useful stuff, 
if you wanted to find out about that stuff, you could just Google it or you can watch uh, helpful YouTube videos instead, which isn't going to take up as much of your time. Now, obviously, to every rule, there is an exception. Of course, if you want to become a social media person and get big through TikTok or expand your business or something, of course, that that's fine. Like if I started a TikTok, it's, it's just good for me. I'm just going to make more money and stuff. All right. And it's going to increase my reach or whatever. That's fine. But uh, to, the, to the majority of people, 99% of people who are just the viewers, it is not worth it. Okay, reason number 69, I, I don't know, I completely forgot, stealing data, okay? And I know you're like, okay, I'm gonna click off, I don't give a shit about my data anyways, right? Uh, a lot of, the average person is like, okay, take my data, who cares, is it like, it's, I'm not using it, but, Okay, if, if you actually exercise your brain cells for a few seconds, you'd realize that data is the most valuable thing that companies have right now. They literally pay multi-millions to get your data and TikTok is just cashing in. Why? Because with their data, they can manipulate you in any way. Like, uh, give me your data, bro, and you see what I'll do to you. I can ru ruin your life so easily, okay? Because I can curate all that content and completely shift the direction of your life, okay? A everything that you're learning from that goddamn app everything you take away i'm programming your brain hours and hours a day i can influence you to buy anything anything i want i mean if i was a greedy ass billion dollar corporation i could influence your mind to completely destroy itself okay you have no idea these are literally powers beyond our control okay just imagine a person instead of a company because there's people who just sit there and hyper analyze every single thing about you okay it's creepy as hell to eventually screw you in some way okay okay Reason number 420, it is completely and utterly lying to you. Just like Instagram does by showing you, you know, all these perfect lies from all these people, which completely reprograms your brain to be extremely sad and unsatisfied with everything you have, okay? You, you, you go on Instagram, everybody knows the story. Oh, there's this perfectly looking person who's got edited pictures, maybe even not edited pictures, but you don't need to see these people, okay? It just makes you feel bad about yourself. And they're living all these awesome lives. TikTok is like Instagram, but on steroids, okay? Because you're seeing videos, you're seeing entire lives, and you're consuming way more content than on Instagram. So it's just everything Instagram is, uh, the, every every bad thing about Instagram, but am amplified a hundred times. Reason number 1000, the trends. This one, I don't even need to explain. If you've watched my channel, you know what I'm talking about. TikTok is filled with the dumbest dumbest trends on the planet, okay? The stuff that goes popular is so completely brain dead and it's not worth even getting into. Whether it be in the medical industry as a nurse dancing outside your dead patient's room, there's just ridiculous trends and you should never, you know, allow yourself to be deluded to that level. Like, you think doctors and nurses are like, you know, they're, they're intelligent people, but TikTok can completely make you brain dead, okay? It, don't underestimate it. Continuing on that point a little bit, I don't know if you've ever read a TikTok comment section, but it is completely and utterly unhinged, bro. People are completely nuts. Okay, I'm not gonna deny, it's pretty funny sometimes, but people take it way too far, okay? There's just openly racist people. People are just making fun of physical appearances all the time. It is actually disgusting. This is not a place that instills good values in you at all. In conclusion, screw TikTok, watch Pegasus instead for happiness, long-term fulfillment, and self-improvement. Ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.